Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. This program is behind the scenes. We film it right here in the studio at WTJR and we're located at 222 North 6th Street right here in Quincy, Illinois. And you know, this program is an exciting program, I think. I always enjoy preparing the script, as they call it, uh, getting together the calendar of events, the different programs, who the guests are. Uh, and as I review the week and what God is doing here at WTJR, I get so excited. And I'm so thankful for his, min his hand, I should say, upon this ministry. And I'm excited that we can broadcast the gospel of Jesus Christ out into the tri-state area of Illinois, Iowa, and Missouri, into the world with the computer, the internet. It's exciting to be able to be used of God in proclaiming good news. And that's what we here are doing at WTJR, proclaiming good news of Jesus Christ. Well, as you know, I like to start the program by praising God. And we've been praising God for several weeks now for prayer. And we've been using this theme scripture from Luke 11, verse 1. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as Jesus also taught his disciples. Well, Jesus is the best teacher of about praying, isn't he? He would often, he prayed with his disciples. His disciples saw him pray for others. And they also saw him go away and spend time in prayer with God by himself. So they asked him, teach us to pray. And he'll teach us to pray also if we ask him. And we've been doing this study, and we've been taking the model prayer, or the Lord's Prayer, as some call it, <coughs> from Matthew 6, 9, 13. And we've been breaking it apart, discussing it. Let's read it together, okay? Starting at verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Beautiful prayer, isn't it? And in my Bible, it's in red letters. I have a red letter Bible. These are the words of Jesus. And to me, that makes it even more exciting, because I know Jesus is truth. And I can stand upon his word for its truth. Amen. Well, <clears throat> the verse, well, the sentence I should say this week we're talking about is, And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. The word lead means to guide, to bring to, to direct. Temptation means a strong urge or desire to have or do something. An enticement. Well, we've all had temptation in our life. The Bible says even Jesus himself was tempted as we, but he was without sin. That's why he could be the perfect sacrifice at Calvary. Yes, for you and I. But God has led people from the very beginning. We read in Genesis, he was in the garden with Adam and Eve. And he would walk with them in the cool of the night. And then I want to start with this scripture in the book of Exodus 12, 31. And the Lord went before them. He went before the Israelites. He was leading them out of Egypt, out of bondage to the promised land. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way. And by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. So God was leading them. Several verses in the Bible with the word lead. David talks about it a lot in the Psalms. 
I love to read the Psalms. I'm telling you, if you're having a bad day and feel discouraged, just get your Bible out and start reading the Psalms. Because David loved to praise the Lord. I'm telling you, when you start praising God, those worries, <laughs> them disappointments, that depression, it goes because you can't praise God and be depressed at the same time. <laughs> it doesn't work very well, at least I've never found it to be. I, I get to praising God and praise God, those worries, those, those problems seem to fade away. Amen. But let's go to Psalms 25, verse 5. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Lead me in thy truth. See, we know when God leads us, it's going to be in truth. Why? Because there's no sin in God. There's no darkness in God. God is good. He's complete. He's perfect. And he gives good gifts. And he blesses people. Yes. And if we ask him, he will lead us. And really, we should ask him just like David did here. Because what? We know he will lead us in truth. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 143.10. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. When God leads us, he will lead us out of sorrow into joy. He'll lead us out of anger, anxiety, into peace. He'll lead us from hate and unforgiveness to love. He's going to lead us into truth. How do I know that? Because I've read it in the Bible. He's done it over and over and over in people's lives. In Isaiah 42, 16, it says, And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them, and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, and not forsake them. Woo, there's a lot in there I like. <laughs> I want God to lead me. Yeah, it says, He will lead them in paths. They may not be known to us, but that darkness will be light. Crooked things will become straight. And the last thing he said is, and he will not forsake them. As he's leading us, he's right there with us. We are not alone. He goes through the storms with us. Yes, he goes through the storms with us. And you know, think of the story of when the disciples were in the boat and Jesus was on the boat with them. Jesus said, we're going to the other side. And the storm came up. Jesus was in the bottom of the boat, fell asleep. And they went and woke him up and it says, don't you care? We're going to perish. There's a storm out here. And Jesus just simply said, peace be still to the storm. And it obeyed him because the storm recognized who he was, the authority he had as son of God. Amen. In Isaiah 49.10, we read, they shall not hunger nor thirst. Neither shall the heat nor sun smite them, for he that hath mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. Well, boy, I want God to lead me. How about you? I guarantee you, I've tried things of the world, and they only lead to heartache, death, destruction, sometimes sickness, sometimes pain, sometimes... Um, anxiety, uh, we cause problems for ourselves, um, sometimes we affect other people's lives. I mean, I want God to lead me because he has a perfect plan. And as we read here in these scriptures, he will take us out of the darkness into the light. The crooked paths will be straight and he will not forsake us. Ooh, I love that part. Amen. Let's go to Romans 2, verse 4. It says, <clears throat> Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? Now here we have the word leadeth. 
knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. God is very merciful to us, very long-suffering. And because of his goodness, he will lead us to repentance if we allow him to work in our life. But we have to allow him to work in our life. Yes, when someone shares the gospel of Jesus with you, God is planting those seeds in your life, or he's watering seeds that's already been planted there. And in hopes that you will believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior, and he came to die on the cross and shed his blood for you, and that by the blood he shed, your sins can be forgiven. And then you can confess those sins. He'll come into your heart and cleanse you and be your Lord and Savior. But let's say maybe you've already done that. Well, God will continue to lead us, help us to grow in the Lord if we let him to. Again, it's always a choice of ours. But it doesn't stop when we say that prayer of salvation. That's just the beginning of the abundant life. We're not to stay a babe, we are to grow. And we will grow if we let God lead us. We will grow if we let God lead us. We can have as much of God in our life as we want. And so I pray that you too want God to lead you in your life so that you can grow. Amen? Let's go to Psalms 23, very familiar verse. In fact, Psalms 23 was my father's favorite chapter in the Bible, and I would read it to him many times. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to share verses 2 and 3. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Now, who would not want to lay beside still waters? Very peaceful, secure, serene. Wow. <laughs> And verse 3, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You know, we can follow a lot of people, but they may not lead us down the right road. You know, the Bible says there's a narrow road and there's the wide road of destruction. And only God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit can lead us down that narrow road to life eternal. And from what we've read here, I believe God is the one I want to be leader of my life. Yes, how about you? And I want to read from uh, Revelation 7, a few verses here for you. Revelation 7, verses 9 through 17. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that seateth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb, now listen, which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. God has made a way for us to have an abundant life. We need to choose to let him lead us. We need to choose to walk with him each day and to serve him, trust him, and obey him. And I'm so thankful 
that he is there to lead me not into temptation, but into that abundant life. Amen. Amen. Well, we have a few pictures from last week, taping in the studio. And we had, um, we taped three Pastor Speaks programs last week. The first one was with Pastor Rodney Burton from uh, Calvary Church in Carthage, Illinois. We also taped a program with Minister Ken Moyers, and he helps minister at Divine Faith Ministries Church in Lomax, Illinois. And we also had Minister Donna Kaninsky, and she is from Litchfield, Illinois, with Sure Word Ministries. And I know you'll be blessed. All three of the programs were very powerful, and I had a lot of the good word in it, and that's God's word, right? Amen. Also, we showed you last week uh, pictures from the storm damage. And here we are on the roof, and Jim and Nick clean, were cleaning up the broken satellites, and they had to bring them down the side of the building uh, to be able to, we could haul them away. And it kind of shows you how they had to do that with a rope. And we just really appreciate their hard work and helping to get that cleaned up quickly. Amen. And then this, I, I am so excited about this. We have talked, how long have we talked about adding more channels to WTJR? Well, as of last Friday on the 17th of July, we now have four channels here at WTJR. 16.1, of course, is our local national programming. 16.2 is CTN Lifestyle, which is family Christian programming. 16.3 is CTNI, the Spanish Christian programming, and our 16.4 is CTN in high definition. And we are so thankful and we say thank you, God, for allowing us to have those four channels. Amen. And thank you to all of you that have prayed with us out there. And I know you can watch all four channels over the air with an antenna. Now, and you may have to rescan your channels, okay? Uh, do a rescan or a channel search. And to do that, you take the remote for your television and uh, go in the menu, and it will say channel setup or channel search. And you should find four channels for WTJR. 16.1 is the only one that is on cable at this time and also on the dish. And, of course, on the dish, we are channel 32. But we are thankful for what God's doing here at WTJR. Amen. Okay, we have soul winning training here at the studio on Mondays. At 1 p.m., we have prayer. And then afterwards, we go out on the streets and we train with the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. And you can watch that here on WTJR also. Also, I'm excited. We're going to have a booth at the Adams County Fair, July 29th through August 4th from 12 noon to 10 p.m. You can come by our booth. And in the evening times, late afternoon, uh, some of the employees, I'll be out there some, uh, Karen, uh, maybe Jim and Nick might stop by on the weekend. But we're excited to meet you, visit with you, and talk about programs you like on WTGR, how you receive us. Um, and it's just exciting. I just love to meet people and talk with them about what God's doing here at WTJR. Amen. Still collecting the aluminum pop tabs and the postage stamps. You can either mail them or drop them off by here at the studio at 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy. If you need prayer, please call 217-228-1616. Karen will be more than glad or honored to pray with you. You can also email tv16 at wtjr.org and be sure and call back with your praise reports. When God has answered that prayer, we want to be able to give him the praise and let people know that have been praying with us. Amen. Because we put those prayer requests on our prayer letter that goes out to 40 prayer intercessors. So it's, prayer is an important part of the ministry here at WTJR. Also, I want to encourage you to visit our WTJR Facebook page and friend us. A lot of information on there, community calendar, upcoming events, uh, pictures, videos, sometimes from WTJR. So be sure and, uh, like I said, visit WTJR's Facebook page and friend us. Community calendar of events. 
please send them two weeks ahead of time to WTJR right here at the Quincy address. You can also email TV16 at WTJR.org. And be sure you include your name, your address, city, and state when you send the information, okay? And then also, if you enjoy the local programs like A Woman's Joy, Pastor Speaks, Conquering Your Giants, Outreach Connection, or Behind the Scenes, you can get a copy of that program. And just give us a call here at the studio, 228-1616, and we will be glad to make a copy for a $10 donation and mail it to you. Coming up on the WTGR Classics, we have The Flood, and this was recorded in July of 1993. This will bring a lot of memories back to you, I'm sure. You can watch that on Wednesday at 10 p.m., Thursday at 4.30 p.m., and Saturday at 12 noon. Coming up on the Billy Graham Special, uh, Foolishness of the Gospel. And uh, this will be the last time it will air. That will be Friday, July 31st at 4 p.m. Each month they have a new program. And we try to play it four different times throughout the month. And we put that schedule here on behind the scenes for you. Outco Outreach Connection, the guest is Charles Robinson. He's an author and he's also uh, one of the people that are part of the Great Passion Play in uh, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. That will air on Monday, July 27th at 9.30 a.m., Wednesday, July 29th at 9 p.m., and Saturday, August 1st at 7 p.m. On Pastor Speaks this coming week, we have Pastor Rod Baker of Faith Presbyterian Church right here in Quincy, Illinois. He brought a wonderful message called Promises. That will air on Sunday the 26th at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 28th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 29th at 7.30 p.m. And coming up on the family movie night, and having the movies been great lately, well, this one looks like a great one, too, Mr. Watt. That will air on Saturday, August 1st at 8 p.m., and Sunday, August 2nd at 11.30 p.m. We are just about done with the month of July, aren't we? I couldn't believe that when I <laughs> was making that screen and put August on there. But anyway, we do have a promo of the movie, and I think you'll agree with me. This is going to be a really good movie, Mr. Watt. My name is Matiesco Keapu Wuapio. It's easier just to call me Mr. What. I've spent 22 years in prison for a crime I did not commit. Today, I'm out. But by the way some people treat me, it feels like I'm still in. My biggest hope is that my father, who suffers from Alzheimer's disease, will find his way through the fog and confusion and take hold of the glorious truth that his son is indeed an innocent man. And then there's the boy. The boy who believes in me and makes me think that I just might have something left to give. I'm sure the road to redemption is a long one. And I'm trying with all my heart to really be free. Here I am, Mr. What. Looks like a great movie, doesn't it? Well, that will air on Saturday, August 1st at 8 p.m. and Sunday, August the 2nd at 11.30 p.m. right here on WTJR.
Well, we've got just a few minutes left here. We've got a few letters from Ewing, Missouri. God bless. Thank you so very much. I love it when you stick a little note in with your donations. I love it when you just wrote us a note. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy just reading the notes. Uh, from West Point, Iowa, um, Keyway to Heaven, Bill Uppinghouse. And they enjoyed that program on WTGR Classics a few weeks ago. From Fort Madison, Iowa, God bless you all, and God bless you also there in Fort Madison. And all of the viewers there today, wherever you are in the world, God bless you. Amen. From Macomb, Illinois, we enjoy a lot of the programs. Our favorites are Rejoice in the Lord, Jensen Franklin, Joseph Prince, and Gaither Homecoming. Thank you so much for taking time to drop that line to us, and it helps us with our scheduling to know the programs you enjoy. Amen. Uh, this one is from um, Macomb, Illinois. I sure enjoy Woman's Joy and the local program programs. Also, Carol Robeson, uh, Musical Memories. Wish I could contribute more, but with local Bible school, summer meals for children, etc., Plus my own expenses for my husband, I'm not able. Thank you. Well, you know, we appreciate every penny. Whatever you give, it helps us to proclaim the gospel. So do not apologize. We're thankful for every gift, every financial gift. Amen. From Philadelphia, Missouri, uh, CTN, please help Southern Style Praise any way you can. The Collinsworth family is the very finest singers I have ever heard or saw. And I know the program he's talking about. I saw that just a few weeks ago myself. And um, I love Southern Style Praise because I love Southern Style Country Gospel Music. Amen. But you can watch... Southern Style Praise on Saturday evenings at 5.30. And if you happen to be up on Monday mornings at 4.30 a.m. and you can't sleep, you can listen to some great music there. And also, I think, yeah, on Tuesday afternoons at 4.30 in the afternoon, you can also watch Southern Style Praise. But that program with the Collinsworth family was wonderful. I agree. Uh, from Hannibal, Missouri, God bless Channel 7, and that's cable in Hannibal and everywhere it goes. My prayers are with you all. I sure enjoy it, especially the music, Les Feldick, Lightning Strikes with Paul Smith there in Hamilton, Illinois, and some of the others. And thank you so much for your note, letting you know this program's bless you. Amen. And uh, we are, we're just about out of time. I'll save that for next week. But, you know, God is so good, and I'm so thankful for his hand upon this ministry. I'm so thankful for you, the viewer, for your prayers, for your financial support. I'm thankful for the letters that you take time to write and let us know the programs you enjoy or that have blessed you. And when we meet you out in public, I love to meet you and visit with you. So until next week, God bless. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio.